Hey y'all, it's uh, Stephen Van Camp and Lewis on a, a wonderfully overcast but still warm day here in Central Texas. And I just want to take y'all on a quick tour of uh, my greenhouse now that everything is in there for the winter. And uh, I'm going to show you some blooming catacetums as well as some, uh, some catacetums that were spiking and then didn't uh, particularly appreciate the transition uh, from outside to inside. So. Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna walk in here. So uh, as you can see, it's not a, a particularly huge greenhouse. Um, I've got all my, my cattleyas here on the left, so, sorted. You know, this is the south side. And then as we go back towards the north side, um, uh, the, the plants get larger and taller. <clears throat> and then over here, we have the catacetums that are not spiking. I've got my ceratopodiums over here and uh, some other, my ceratopodium imports over here and my mexipedium down here. But um, I guess as we walk towards the back, uh, which is where the, the blooming catacetums are, I kind of show you my, my cattleyas, the other ones that are blooming including this wonderful little thing here. Uh, this is uh, used to be called Neobenthamia gracilis. Now it's Polystachia neobenthamia. And it's got these really cool blooms. Um, got really good bloom in here. I'm kind of thinking about making a whole video on it. Uh, maybe this weekend to talk about this. Super fragrant. And uh, one of the native, uh, African native terrestrials. A very cool little thing. And, um, I absolutely love growing it. We've got kind of an out of season blooming here from my Cattleya Callista Glossa. Kind of blanked on the name there for a sec. But that's a primary cross between Purpurata and Varsavixii. And for some reason, this guy will put out wonderful blooms. Uh, that are well held well above the plant. And then sometimes it kind of keeps the, the bloom spike short and, and gets all squished in, in on itself. But in any case, it's still absolutely gorgeous and intensely fragrant. To me, it gets the purpurata scent and smells a lot like Fruit Loops, actually. So we're coming back through the, the, the larger Calais here, and I've got a couple of Ancelia. And this is where my blooming catacetums are currently currently located so I'm gonna drop down here so I can show you this this is macrocarpum and it blooms for me several times a year it's a very large plant as you can see there by the bulbs follow the bloom spike and a very very odd looking uh, blooms I've showed you all this a couple times so this is nothing particularly new uh, I've got a, a spiking uh, Rebecca's daughter here. This is actually, this is the one that I got awarded. I got an AM on it, <clears throat> on its first bloom, which is very cool. And it, it's bloomed two or three times for me. I've got another one of those here uh, that I got from a friend. And it will be blooming here shortly. And I look forward to seeing that one for the first time. And of course, we have Fong Sing. Uh, Catacetum Fong Sing I got from William Green when he visited my greenhouse almost a year ago. And you can see growing in the PET method, really big bulbs create really big flowers. I mean, look at the size of these things compared to my hands. I did not realize that these are this big. Uh, watching William's videos you can see it's just opening up so it's probably not these are probably not fully open yet but huge 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 blooms you know nicely fragrant you know he got actually two spikes on his last year uh so i feel uh, i feel like it might have appreciated his conditions a little more so so congrats to william we'll see if i can get uh two spikes out of this next year's growth but man this is this thing is really really cool I have 
one of my favorite new hybrids and I just can't get enough of this. I'm sure some people are not super excited about it. It's, and this is Tenebrosum by Colosum. And I just love the, I love the green lip. I love the dark flowers, love the shape, love the scent. Everything about this just makes me happy. And I actually picked one up. Uh, I saw someone who was not super excited by how theirs looked on Instagram and said, hey, I'll, I'll trade you if, if you don't want yours. So I have another one that should be blooming hopefully in the spring. This is the second bloom on this particular plant. And then hopefully in the spring, I'll see uh, what this other plant looks like. I'm pretty excited to see. This little guy here. This is Catacetum shunkii, putting out a single bloom. Kind of an out of season growth, but hey, I'll take it. That's fine. I believe on this particular plant, this will be the first bloom on this guy. So it'll be, it'll be good to see that. Down here, I have one that I showed you a few weeks ago. The main spike is gone, but we've got some new blooms coming in. This is Clotocetum Dragon's Treasure. This is the plant that I made my original PET video, my very first video on YouTube, and I've chopped it up a couple times since then. I'll probably, I don't think I'll chop it up this year. I'll let it grow for another year and then cut it up again. This guy down here is Black Knight, which is that really cool black flower with uh, the white lip and it popped, it cranked out an extra, an extra growth this season. And uh, as you can see here, it puts out several growths, uh, several spikes per growth. And this one, uh, this is the first spike on that particular growth. So that, that'll be cool to see. I'll show you some of these ones that didn't like the transition to the greenhouse. So for those of you who have catacetums that abort their blooms, you'll find that they abort when you move them too early in the bloom cycle. So you can see how small these buds were when they decided to abort. If you start moving your plants around, there's a good chance that you'll lose those blooms. Uh, I believe this is one from Stephen Moff. I think it's Catacetum Calca Show. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I need to find the tag for that one. I have it somewhere. Um, and then this one over here, this is Sicknicky's Coopery. And you can see again, the, the blooms were fairly early on in their, their bloom cycle. And they decided that, hey, I don't like being moved or maybe, you know, I did get down to 40 degrees in here. So maybe they didn't like the cold. Uh, but in any case, these blooms are toast, which is unfortunate. So I'll have to wait till next year to see this one again in person. But it's a, it's a, it's a young plant, but very healthy. Not often do you get to keep three back bulbs on a Sicknickies. So I'm pretty happy with this plant. <clears throat> and over here I have uh, Matagrosso Ants. It is blooming once again. It seemed to have it aborted a single bloom earlier, but it's still on track to get this one blooming. I kind of wonder if that'll be a female flower, which would be kind of cool. I haven't seen those yet. So it's kind of a quick video today. Back down the greenhouse. And I'll give you a parting shot with some of these, these guys that are blooming here. Of course, the macrocarpum. And then finally, the fong sink. Just too cool. Super waxy and feels like plastic. Huge, huge flowers. Such a great... Such a great cross, such a great plant. Uh, thank you again, William Green, for, for giving this to me. And um, I'm glad that it's doing well here for me. See ya.